Okay, so we're up to the last part of the tutorial now. We're going to look at the arrangement of the song. I'm just going to run it out a couple of minutes. I'm not going to go anything too heavy because with no vocals or anything, so interest will be low uh, probably throughout it. But I'll just give you an idea of how everything works together in the actual track itself. Um, also, I'll uh, make a copy of it available on my website whenever I get it up and running there, which should be in the next month or two, all being well. What I've done is basically I've set and rifled through all the different tracks, see what played well with what and what did work, you know, on its own with other things going in. Um, the way that uh, live works is that you have to set everything out in sort of verse, chorus, start, intro, so on and so forth, and then play the, the different tracks separately. Now I'm going to use my keyboard for that. I'm going to show you how to use the MIDI input um, to control um, which parts of it are played. Then we're going to record the arrangement itself and then obviously put a limiter on the uh, master and send it out as a finished track. Uh, that'll be the end of the tutorial and we'll we'll look at other ones in from there from that point. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to show you how the MIDI section works. So as you can see, everything's greyed out. Um, really what I'm going to do now is use the M Audio Zone keyboard. And I'm just going to use different keys on the keyboard to arrange the different part of it. You'll see it on the um, left hand side as I go along, which keys do what. Obviously we can use this for far bit, you know, impressive things like live loop and stuff like that, but I'll show you how to do that at a later date. And it's fairly cool, um, allows you to record on the fly. So all we got to do is select which part we want in the blue area. So we're going to keep it simple and just keep it to the actual parts, intro, chorus, verse, uh, bridge, that sort of thing. And um, then we're going to map it to the keyboard and you'll see that on the side. Okay, so we've done that now. You'll notice it was a handy wee thing come up. Uh, it was actually pressing the same key that was sort of linked against another one there, and it automatically asks you if you want to move it to that key or you want to keep it where it is. I'm um, showing you that specifically so that you don't sort of, you know, run out or, or get sort of messed about in relation to it. But as you can see, um, now we've got everything mapped out, the different slots mapped out to the master itself, and obviously, um, which part of the keyboard I have it linked to, different notes and that sort of thing. So we'll get rid of that. And uh, we'll get on with the arrangement then. Thank you. 